Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel medical lectures and mnemonics today i'm going to talk about uh, the anti diarrheal drugs but before discussing the anti diarrheal drugs i'm going to talk about uh, how how the diarrhea is occur the diarrhea is occur due to two things one is the increased motility of the GIT. when the motility of the GIT is increases uh, there will be no enough time for the GIT to absorb the fluid from the food so the water is too well occur in the decrease absorption of fluid uh, when the absorption of fluid through GIT is decreases uh, the water is too well produced so now what are the strategy to uh, control the uh, to control the diarrhea what type of strategy is required one is the to decrease the motility the motility can be decreased by two type of drugs one is the apoid receptor antagonist the other is the anti muscarinic agents and the other uh, strategy to control the diarrhea is the absorbents the absorbents will mechanically absorb the toxins or microorganisms that causing the diarrhea and the drugs that modify fluid and electrolyte transport is another strategy for control the for controlling the diarrhea so the intermetrality uh, agent include the muscarinic agents and the apoid receptor antagonist. So the apoid receptor antagonist include the uh, dipenoxylate, the loperamide and the, and the anti-muscarinic uh, agents are the atropine, scopolamine, etc. But uh, these are rare, rarely used by the diarrhea control because the anti-muscarinic receptor, the muscarinic receptor are present, present widely in the body. So other effects uh, induced by the anti-muscarinic agents. So what is the mechanism of action of uh, diphenoxylate, loperamide, and stranded tract have a special type of nervous system which is called enteric nervous system. And the enteric nervous system uh, have a special type of uh, receptor and the presynaptic uh, nerve which is the apoid receptor. So the apoid receptor when stimulated it will cause the acetylcholine release, uh, release and the acetylcholine release will cause the mortality to increase. So by inhibiting the apoid receptor, it will inhibit the acetylcholine release, so the motility will be decreases. Now the the this is the uh, mechanism of action for the um, anti-motility agents, uh, the apoid receptor antagonist. The uh, loperamide is a drug of choice for the traveler diarrhea. And it is also used for the acute diarrhea. Now, what are the adverse effect of the antimotility agents? It will uh, cause the toxic megacolon, and it will also cause the constipation. The other thing in controlling the diarrhea is the adsorbents. The absorbents include the uh, aluminum hydroxide and methyl cellulose. The aluminum hydroxide and methyl cellulose will aluminum hydroxide and methyl cellulose actually absorb the toxins and microorganisms through their surface. And uh, it also causes the GIT mucosa. So when the GIT mucosa is coated with aluminum hydroxide and methyl cellulose, there will be no contact of microbes to, to the GIT trap. So the diarrhea will be controlled. The other uh, strategy uh, for the control of the diarrhea is the agent that modify fluid and electrolyte balance. So the base metal subcellulite is the agent that modified fluid and electrolyte balance. It is also used for the traveler diarrhea. And the main function of the base metal subcellulite is decrease fluid secretion in the bowel. So when the fluid secretion in the bowel is decreased, it will uh it will cause the diarrhea control so what is the adverse effect of the basement subcellulite the black tongue and the black stool is the adverse effect of the uh, metha basement subcellulite so this was all about uh, the anti-diarrheal drugs for more video subscribe like and share